a majority of your sound design and specific editing, fades, things like that, is going to be done here in the waveform window, right in the center. The waveform window is where we see the actual thing that we're working on. And in addition to using that magnifying glass tool to zoom in and out, we can enlarge and reduce the size of what we're looking at using this little slider here. So that's a very handy tool. Now the waveform window comes with its own set of controls. If we go to the upper right of the waveform title bar, you'll see a settings menu. And that's where we can adjust what we're seeing, what snaps, and then a couple of things that they just put under more. Under what we're seeing, the display tab, that's where we can say, okay, we've got all our markers up, but I want to get it out of the way while I'm editing, so you can hide them. So the markers still exist, and they are at certain points, but we're just not seeing them. So you can change the way that the waveform is displayed. You can make it a rectified waveform where we're looking just the peaks and we're not looking at the whole thing. You can change the style if you want to give it a different visual style. And even the type, if you're looking at minimum, maximum, the RMS, the mean value, its magnitude. So all of that is available to see what kind of waveform we're looking at. Snapping is important because that's going to help you speed up your editing. You can have things snapping, zero cross snapping. You can have playback trim snapping. So let's say if I turn off playback snapping, here's the playhead. If you see when I move this region or this layer, it's not snapping to anything. It just passes right by it. But if I click in there and I go to snap and I turn on playback head snapping, well now when I move this layer, take a look up, oh, it snaps right to the playhead. Now I already have it snapping to the other layer, so you'll notice if I move it close to what links us, it'll jump there. There it goes. So it jumps and snaps to that other layer, even though you can't see that layer. But it still does snap to it. So snapping is important, especially if you're going to be doing some micro edits. Now when you're working with this particular waveform view, if you want to go left or right and you're not using a trackpad or magic mouse or something, you can switch to the handle and grab it and move it left to right in more subtle ways rather than using that. So you can always use this magnified region up here, but if you don't have the overview, if you don't want to use that, you can grab and move there. And of course, you can zoom in and out using the zoomer, and you can collapse the waveform view if you don't need to see it at that time. So waveform, where we're doing most of our editing and designing is a very important view. Now, we haven't talked about these handles of the layer that I'm moving around. You see this handle in the bottom left and the upper left? Those are handles for something called smart edits, and we'll take a look at that next.